Hi everyone, I hope you're okay and I hope that the videos we keep uploading are helping out. On this video guys, I'll be tackling the second question if I'm only focusing on electrodynamics. Please do expect a total number of 11 videos since I've compiled a worksheet that has 11 questions on it. And all of these questions are extracted from past exam question papers. So it's very, very important for you to know how to tackle such questions. I strongly believe that it will give you an edge whenever you write your final examination. So please do share the video to your peers so that they may have the same edge as you. And please guys, do help us grow the channel by just subscribing. Okay. The graph below shows the output voltage uh, from a household AC generator for for one cycle of rotation of the coils. Okay. Uh, over here, guys, we are given a graph for output voltage. Uh, so this over here, guys, will just represent my maximum voltage. Are you together? It's my maximum voltage. So I now know that my Vmax my maximum voltage is just equal to 340 volts. It's the peak voltage. Okay, now let's just answer these following questions. Uh, a 100 watt light bulb is connected to, to this generator and glows at its maximum brightness. Use the, use the information from the graph to calculate the resistance, the resistance of, of, the, of the bulb, okay. Uh, I know that guys power, by the way, guys, these formulas are, are, are given to you at the, at the, at the back of your, of your formula sheet, right? Power is just equal to V RMS squared all over R. I right, get, we are given the, the value of power. Power is just 100 watts, but uh, we do not have UV RMS. We only have UV max, ne? But I know that I can find UV RMS by simply saying V max divided by the square root of two. Are you together? Uh, so that means uh, for, for, for V RMS, I'll simply substitute my maximum voltage, which is 340 divided by the square root of two. This entire thing is all squared divided by R. I can simply cross multiply, therefore R is just equal to 340 all over root 2 divided by 2, all divided by 100. Um, okay, let's just do this. Uh, I have 340 divided by the square root of 2 all squared, all divided by 100. So the resistance is just 578 ohms. The resistance of our light bulb, the resistance is just 578 ohms. Now they want us to calculate the RMS current. Okay, how can we do that? Uh, we can simply use uh, the, the, the power equation uh, like this uh, you can say power p average is equal to i rms squared multiplied by r are you together so this will just be equal to 100 i rms squared multiplied by 578 therefore i RMS squared is just equal to 578, not 578 rather, but it's equal to 100 divided by 578. 100 divided by 578. Therefore, I can simply take the square root on both sides and therefore my I RMS is just equal to the square root of 100 divided by 578. That's just 0 0.4159, basically 0 0.416 amperes. So that's our RMS current, guys. Ne? Yes, there are many ways that, 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 that we could have found the current. Uh, you could have said I RMS uh, is basically equal to... Uh, 
remember remember guys your 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 ohm's law equation let me let me remind you uh v is equal to i over r ne? so same thing applies i rms is equal to v rms all over r so i rms is just equal to v rms all over the resistance right so could have just said uh, the v rms is equal to v max divided by the square root of 2 that's 340 divided by the square root of 2 all over the resistance which is just 578 this would have given us the same answer guys ne? this would have given us the same answer L let's confirm that um it's just 340 divided by the square root of 2 all over uh, 578 uh, what's going on there we still get the same answer guys do you see that it's one and the same thing 0 0.416 mps so electrodynamics guys is there for the taking so please guys do not do do, do not uh do not lose these marks do not lose these marks ne? okay give one reason why ac voltage is preferred to dc voltage for everyday use because because uh because alternating current guys can be stepped up or down during during, during transmission that's why it's preferred it can be stepped up or down during transmission so that's how guys we're supposed to tackle that video so please do stay tuned and wait for more videos thank you